Today we will be discussing how to set up the HST tax within our ACPAC database that will come into effect July 1, 2010. The first thing that we need to do is log on to our ACPAC database. And within Common Services, go to the Tax Services. Within here is where we set up our tax. First place we need to go is into our tax authorities. This is where we define our tax. You will need to enter HST with a description of harmonized sales tax. You're able to keep the same information within here if there's not something that is specific to your organization. In order to do this, please make sure that you review other existing taxes. In addition, you will need to set up the tax account, liability account, that affects this HST tax. You can set one up brand new or use an existing sales tax GL account. Once you're done here, you can save and close. The second place that we need to go is into our tax classes. We need to identify the HST tax with the tax authority. Here is where we are defining whether or not a transaction to a customer or item or vendor or item is taxable or non-taxable. The tax class will be defined for each instance, being customer, vendor, or item. We need to set it up in four places. Our tax class type for the transaction is either sales or purchases, and within the class type, we have customers and items for sales, and for purchases, we have vendors and items. Each one consists of the same information, being tax class one is taxable, and tax class two is non-taxable. When defining a customer, you're able to define whether or not they are taxable or a non-taxable customer. Same thing with vendor and same thing with item. Once you're done here, you can save and close. Thirdly, we need to go into the tax rates. Again, pulling up our tax authority of HST. For each transaction type of sales and purchases, and only defining within the taxable rate, the 13%. As we can see, I'm in Tax Class 1 and Tax Class 1, and Tax Class 2 has nothing to find, a 0%. Once you're done here, you can save and close. Lastly, we need to go into our tax groups. Tax groups are used to group more than one tax authority to any given tax. For example, you might be used to GST and PST. Therefore, in our tax group, we would define this as GST and PST and list the GST and PST tax authorities below. In our case, with harmonized sales tax, we only have one. Therefore, we just list the one tax authority for each transaction type, sales and purchases. The tax group is used when defining customers, customer groups, vendors, vendor groups, and items. So it's very important that you complete this step. Once you're done here, you can save and close. This concludes our webinar for today. Please keep in mind that what you have watched is an HST tax setup overview. You will need to apply this tax to your customers, vendors, and items. Because our customer setups are done differently, you will need to contact us should you require further assistance when applying the HST tax. My contact information is available on your screen. Please feel free to contact me at any time. Thanks and have a wonderful day.